Hey guys, Fung here, welcome back to a brand new video. Now today, we are moving on to game week 27 of our Premier League predictions. That why are you, sm why are you smiling? I always do. I've had a few beers today, Theo, and it's about <laughs> midnight. <laughs> <laughs> what are the scores on the doors then? Let's kick start it. Right, Chelsea Rory got a respectable nine points. Theo, 13 points, you nearly won it, but 14 points, <laughs> trophy. Come to daddy. At least there'll be Rory. Long. It's a battle for second place. I'm happy with second. I'll take it. I tell you what, the guests are on 160. You're on 169. 29 points ahead. It's Thog Dad on 198. I'm losing <laughs> hope here. I really am. <laughs> I, I'm just going to copy you from now on. Well, I think I want to catch up with points. That's yeah. pointless. I'm in a crisis. I need help. This is a big game week for me. I've got the feeling I'm going to edge here. And you know why? I want 20,000 likes. Oh, no, Theo, don't do that. I'm saying it. Last time, we got 19K. Now we're going to trump that. We're going to get 20 Okay, we're gonna break the boundaries, Thog Dad. Wow, I hope you've got a good guess for that, Theo. Oh, you'll find out in the first game. Should we kick start with Arsenal Burnley, Dad? Let's do that. And the first game is Burnley in 15th against Arsenal in 10th, and Burnley were smashed by Tottenham, weren't they? And then yeah. got a good point against Leicester. Well, Burnley are looking to do the double over Arsenal for the first time since 1962, after beating them 1-0 at the Emirates. The last eight times Arsenal have played away at Burnley, they've won four and drawn four, so they've never been beaten there. Yeah, but now Burnley are six points above the relegation zone. Are they safe, Theo? Uh, yeah, I think they're safe. With Sean Dyche and the players they've got, they're going to survive. They're probably not going to pick up points here, but we know how Burnley play. They'll find little ways. Yeah, but what about Arsenal? That was a great victory away at Leicester, but can can they keep it up for more than one game? I don't know. Both teams played Leicester last game. I don't know how that works, by the way. But yeah. you know what? I'm going to go straight to it. Burnley nil, Arsenal 1. Ooh, okay. I'm going to go Burnley nil, Arsenal 2. I've got to be different to catch up points. And I reckon Arsenal will score a second. So that's what I'll go for. Pepe, really good last week. And even William had a good game finally. But you've been asking me about a good guess. Yeah, who is it? Come on. Ah, oh, fine. It's a, do you know Claude? I don't know. you know Claude? No, not Arsenal fan TV, Claude. You're joking. What would... What do you, why are you surprised? He's got to go. He's a it's legend. It's time to go. <laughs> what a guy. I, I've actually Brilliant. bagged him in. How He's did in. you manage that? Legend. Listen, it took a few phone calls. You know, it, it was hard work. But all you need to know is he's here. Welcome in, Claude. Hello, boys. First of all, well done on making such a successful channel. You're doing really well, Theo. Brilliant. Anyway, let's start. Burnley versus Arsenal. Uh, this won't be as easy as... Uh, I know they, beat, they got beat by Spurs by four goals to nil. It won't be that easy for for Arsenal because they'll play... Arsenal will find it difficult because they'll have a lot of men behind the ball. If we can get an early goal, then we should win comfortably. This could be a narrow win. 2-1 to Arsenal. And the next game is Sheffield United in 20th against Southampton in 14th. Now, last game week, Southampton won one and lost one, they didn't did. they? They beat yeah. Villa. That's a good result, isn't it? It is a good result. Um, fair play to Sheffield United. I don't think they'll stay up. No. But they got a good win over Villa, but they didn't have Grealish. No, that's true. So, yeah, the way I look at this game, Southampton have uh, won their last three league meetings with Sheffield United. I can't see this going any other way. I know the Saints' form hasn't been the best and the Blades have just picked up three points. I just have a little feeling this will still go the Saints' way. Sheffield United have lost all eight games they've played this season on a Saturday. Yeah. It's just not their day of the week, is it? So, yeah. I think it'll be another loss. I can't see that changing round. I'm going to go Sheffield United nil, Southampton 1. I just think Ings will nick it from somewhere. Wow, that is a very big statement. But Southampton one point in five games. That is the worst form in the league. Yeah, it is, yeah. And you know what? I called it last week, 1-0 against Villa. And you know what I'm going to do today? What are you doing? And you know what? I might just be a mug for a greasy chip, buddy. Sheffield United to win 1-0. Wow. So Two going, wins on the bounce. We're going for both. We're both going for one nils. Yeah. A different way around. Yeah. So, let, so let's see who gets it right. Or will it be the guest? Claude. Sheffield United versus Southampton. Unfortunately, Sheffield United, uh, second season syndrome, look on the way down. I can only see one one result here. 2-0 uh, to Southampton for me. And the next game is Aston Villa in ninth against Wolverhampton Wanderers in 12th. And yeah. this is a bit of a cheeky Midlands derby. Now, Villa... Missing that man, Jack Grealish. But they Certainly. beat Leeds, didn't they? Alan Rhodes, a good result, that. Yeah, I know they did. You know, Villa will be looking to complete their first ever double over Wolves since 2003. It's been a while. Do you reckon they can do that? Well, they can. I mean, Wolves, they threatened to do well, but then they went and drew with Newcastle and they got battered by Man City. Mm. Bit of a late show. Yeah. They weren't bad for most of the game. So, Wolves, what a poor season overall. Yeah, it's not been great for Wolves so far. And, you know, until they have Raul Jimenez back, it's not going to be the same. They do find... You know what? In their 4-1 loss to City, Connor Cody had a really good game. Yeah, he did. Villa 
have only won one of the six league home games against Wolves. The Wolves are, if you look at head to head, they're more favourites for this one. They are, but you know what? I'm going to sit on the fence and it's a traditional Thog Dad one all. Typical. I've actually got one all as well because Villa without Grealish, I can't see them winning this game and Wolves without Jimenez, same. So, 1-1. One, one. He gives me stick. He's like, oh, it's all typical. And then he says the same thing. Dad, you're ahead of me for a reason because we went for different things and you got it right. So you can't use that excuse. That but is let's true. go over to the Arsenal fan. Claude. Uh, this is a tricky one. This is a tricky game. Uh, Wolves can on their day produce it. Villa at home. I'm going to go 2-1 for Wolves. 2-1 to Wolves. Brighton and Hove Albion against Leicester City. 16th yeah. against third. And what has gone wrong at Brighton? You can't lose to West Brom, can you, Theo? Dad, if we went off XG, they'd be a top team. <laughs> it's it amazing. Doesn't. You know, they have these chances and they just find ways of Bottoming it. Yeah, they play well. They're the draw specialists, aren't they? With yeah. 11 draws, but they've only won five games all yeah, but, season. Yeah, but that 1-0 loss to West Brom, it's just ridiculous. They missed two penalties yeah. and a goal gets disallowed after it pretty much was a normal goal. It's the yeah. weirdest thing in the world. Brighton home form the season 17th in the league. Leicester away form first in the league. Surely it's going to be a Leicester win, eh, Dad? Well, you'd expect that, but they're missing two key players yeah. in James Madison and Harvey, Harvey Barnes, Barnes, aren't they? It's an equal... Sorry. Carry on. <laughs> yeah. So I think overall, I'm going to go straight to it. I oh. think this is going to be a draw. I mean, Brighton have had some really bad luck over the last couple of yeah. games. Leicester are below par. I think they might slip away out of the Champions League places one all. Well, Brighton are winless in seven meetings versus Leicester. And they failed to score in five of them. And Leicester have already beaten Brighton twice this season. I think it was like 3-0 in the league, 1-0 in the cup. The odds are in favour of Leicester. And Brighton have lost their last two games in a row. Uh, last season, three in a row in November 2019. So, you know what I'm going to say? Screw those stats. Brighton 1-0 win. I'm going for it. Wow. Yes. After all that waffle, yeah. you've gone for a Brighton win. That... All those stats in favour of Leicester, but I'm still back in the Brighton because you know what, Dad? I just have a feeling. Wow. That is amazing. But just what do you reckon, Claude? Brighton versus Leicester. Oh, this is a team that scored about 100 shots on goal, dominating a lot of the games, but can't find the net. I fancy Brighton here. I've got a feeling Brighton might just nick this one, 1-0. One West Bromwich Albion against Newcastle United. This is an enormous game because it's 19th against 17th. Now, yeah. last week, West Brom, they got a win and they got a loss. And Newcastle got a draw. What's going to happen here? It's hard to call, isn't it? Well, West Brom's home form against Newcastle is good. If you look into the past, two wins, two draws, one loss. It's not bad considering the position they're in. Uh, but Newcastle, they they won the last fixture they played this season. They'll be looking to do the double, which is their first time since 20, 2008. And in that season, they're in the Prem, but both teams got relegated to the Championship. Do you reckon that could happen again this year? Well, West Brom, can Big Sam keep them up? I've said all the way through, no, he can't. But Newcastle worried me. I thought they'd yeah. stay up. Yeah. And then Almiron, and then St. Maximan got injured, and I'm mm. about to change my mind. I think they might you get think relegated. Might stay up. Okay, well, okay. Well, what do you reckon for this prediction then, Dad? Who are you backing? Well, do you know what? I'm going to go with Big Sam on this one. I'm sorry, Newcastle fans. But really? Some of you will agree with me. Okay. West Brom to win 1-0. I just can't see a 1-0 in that sort of game because I know Newcastle won't allow it. They'll just find a way of getting a goal. I think West Brom won, Newcastle won. I know West Brom just beat Brighton 1-0. It's tempting to say they might get a double home win. You know, keep the home run going because Big Sam's turned it round. But... And I know Newcastle only picked up nine games in 15 Premier League matches since their good run back in November, December. But I reckon the two will find a goal from somewhere. Maybe Alan St. Maximum. Right, Claude, you've heard our opinions. What do you reckon, mate? This is going to be a real battle, isn't it? Uh, Sam Allardyce up against his old club, Newcastle. I've got a feeling about West. I've got a feeling that Sam's going to have one or two tricks up his sleeve against Brucey. And I've got to go for a narrow 2 1 win against Newcastle. And now over to Anfield for Liverpool in seventh against Fulham in 18th. And Liverpool, we just watched them lose to Chelsea after beating Sheffield United. I might need to change my prediction. Really? I don't even know anymore. I. I how can I back Liverpool if they keep playing like I this? Know. I backed them for a draw against Chelsea. They found a way of bottling that. I just, I, unless Jurgen Klopp changes his tactics. I know Jota's, you know, yeah. you, you should start in this game because 
they might as well take a risk because things aren't working with the, with the, whole, the old tactic. And when you get a player back as good as him, you've got to play him in a fixture like this, don't you? You do. Now, Liverpool were good against Sheffield United, but tonight they were completely toothless, weren't they? Yeah. You could pick on a lot of the players. The now, only one that looked like Kering was Thiago. Yeah. I thought Curtis Jones. I, I rate him I as a player, but overall, they just couldn't put the ball in the net. It's crazy how Chelsea, much a team can change in a year. Chelsea was so much better in that game. They were. They, they came in with a tactic and they and you can tell when Liverpool gang and press they found a way around when Liverpool attacked they knew what they were trying to do putting the ball to Trent when he was going to whip the balls in it was always getting blocked by Chilwell and the center backs and Christensen had a great game Kante was unbelievable even Werner unlucky not to get his goal I mean he, yeah. they didn't even measure it by the armpit they measured it like there anyway that game's over and Chelsea got the three points um Liverpool have only lost one of 23 Premier League games against Fulham 16 wins and six draws from that Surely they'll find another win. Well, I know that Fulham lost today, but in the five games before that, they didn't lose. And they're very yeah. tight at the back. This will be a very they're tough They're not good at home. They've had a for... crap record at home. But this is at Anfield, Theo. Yes. Yes. I I'm know. saying at home. Because They've lost all their games recently. It's just... I, I don't know, know what's going Theo, on. But at some point, that's got to end. I think this will be a very tight, low-scoring game. I'm okay. going Liverpool 1, Fulham 0. There's a high possibility of that happening. And Fulham are looking to become the first London side to win at both Everton and Liverpool in the same year since West Ham did it in 15-16 season. Wow. Interesting. But coming into this game, I reckon, you know, last time they faced it was a 1-1 draw. It definitely could happen again. And I've got written down Liverpool 2-1 Fulham, but I'm tempted to change it to 1-0. All right, after Liverpool Blades win 2-0, no, I'll, I'll back it. Liverpool 2, Fulham 1. Different to you, but both for very tight Liverpool wins. Let's go over to Claude. How many times am I going to do that? I love it. I love it. He's a legend, man. This should be, this should be, uh, you could say this should be an easy three points, but the way Liverpool are playing at the moment at home, uh, they might, they could, str they could struggle. Fulham have improved a lot since the opening day of the season when I saw him play Arsenal. So, but I still think Liverpool will win two goals to nil, I'd say. And now for the big one, it's the Manchester derby. Ooh. It's City in blue against United in red, first against second. Now, last week, two games for City, six goals, six points. It's so easy to call this one, isn't it, Phil? Is it? Out of the last five home games, City have lost three of them at home to Man United. So is it as easy to call as you think? Yes, it is, because this City team is absolutely superb. Last okay. game week, you had John Stones, Ruben Diaz scoring. Even Who's Gabriel the, yeah, Jesus scored, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's quite funny. Yeah. <laughs> but they've not lost consecutively in, in the league game since 2010 in terms of home games against the team. So I, it would be a shock for this to happen again. Man City are unbeaten in 28 right now, in yeah. all competition. And if they avoid defeat here, I think it's a new record. And Man United, they just look tired at the moment. They can't score, although they're not yeah. conceding. Yeah. They've drawn four of the last five, and City just looks superb in all departments. Quite simply, this will be a City win. Really? I think it'll be a tight one, 1-0. One well, it could be a 0-0, nil -nil because United's yeah. last three games have all been 0-0. Nil -nil. I, I, I mean, it's literally been insane. <laughs> They've never, in history, drawn four goalless games in a row. Really? So this would be history breakers. I mean, even if City <laughs> don't lose there, being history breakers, but... I get the feeling City going to win. I know you've gone City 1-0. I'm going to go City 2-1. I think United will score. But I get actually, you know what? Screw that. I'm going 1-1. I'm going to 1-0 draw. Wow. Screw that. I think Ole will find a way. He needs to. He can't disappoint. I've just literally changed it on the spot. I know what Ole's like. When the pressure's on him, he'll pluck a, just something enough out of it to make people not, not enough people say Ole out. So I'm going to go 1-0. And I reckon it will be Sterling and Bruno to get the goals. And over to the magnificent Claude in North it's London. Big game. What does he go for? This is the big game of the day, Man City, Man United. Well, what can I say? I think this is going to be uh, a win for Man City. I think Manchester United will go there. I think they'll be very negative. They've been negative in all the games against the so-called big six. I don't know why they say Arsenal's the big six, but uh, uh, at the moment we're not really, are we? So, yeah, I think Man City will win this. I think by maybe two goals to nil. I think once they break United down, they'll, they'll, win, that, they'll win. And now for a London derby, eighth against 13th, it's Tottenham Hotspur against Crystal Palace. Now, what about yeah. Spurs against Burnley? Gareth Bale, what a man. He's turned up at last there. Yeah, why are we speaking about that game if Spurs played today? 1-0 against Fulham. I know, they followed it up with that. So he yes, won't be 4 or 5 he didn't follow, every week. Guess he didn't follow up with it. Kane and Bale. Yeah, that is true. They, they, they didn't come up with anything. And now people are suddenly thinking, is Bale really worth it on fantasy? If he's going to ghost one week after being brilliant against Burnley, I don't know about fantasy. But the Bale-Sun-Kane show definitely 
did happen against Burnley when they smashed them 4 0. They beat Wolfsburg 4 0. Deli Alley got a goal, it was an own goal that the player yeah. that you had, the full of defence, oh. they had an exactly fancy team. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> but it should have been Deli Alley's goal because I would have got the sun assist. So we both lost out points on that. I lost out more. Yeah. So you should but be less worried. of the waffle because beating Fulham 1 0, I think, is a very good result at the moment. Fulham in the second half looked better than Spurs. Yeah. Fulham were on the front foot, and that is a big statement. I genuinely think they'll stay up, but we're not talking about them here. We're talking about Spurs against Palace. I get the feeling this will be 2 0 to Spurs. Wow, that, find it way two times. That is a very big statement. I'm going to disagree with you, Theo. Really? You know why? Because Crystal Palace have drawn the last two games nil nil. They've become a lot tighter as a unit. They have. And because of that, actually, I lied. Two nil to Spurs. I thought you were actually going to change your prediction this no, one to one nil no, because Palace have been good defensively. Yeah. I would have been pretty impressed with you. That I'll, I'll say the same score. I'll just, I'll just win this. But Claude, yeah. what do you reckon, mate? Against your enemies. Gareth Bale is flying again. He's back. He's not. He's now concentrating more on the football than on the golf course. Get this feeling that Spurs will win this one comfortably. I'm going to go 3-0 to Spurs. And now for a massive game, it's Chelsea against Everton. And these are two teams on great form. Fourth against fifth. They're both going for Champions League places. Chelsea, second best form in the league theory. They just beat Liverpool and they went to Anfield and controlled the game from the first minute yeah. to the end. Oh, Mason Mount, what a goal. I didn't think he had it in him to score something like that and win a game as big as it was. I thought Chelsea were magnificent in all departments, and yeah. particularly in defence. And the likes of Rudiger and Christiansen, and some people had written those guys yeah. off, were superb. The whole they team were. was superb. Oh, Christiansen read the game so well. Kante was brilliant. Jorginho was... A... Listen, the whole Chelsea team were just excellent. And now they're playing Everton, so it's not going to be easy because Ancelotti is playing against his old club. Both these two teams won today 1-0. Yeah, and they won the last game 1-0, and Richarlison scored both goals yeah. there. I know. Should we buy him? Probably. Should, no, yeah, I don't think it's. I'm pissed. I can't. <laughs> <Go down. laughs> <laughs> Should we buy Richarlison for Fantasy Premier League? Yes, and I knew you were going to say it because you told me before. <laughs> but yes, DCL, we'd be pulling out stinkers. Yeah, Richarlison's the one to have now. But I'm going to get straight to my prediction. It's going to be 2-1 to Chelsea. This is going to be a good game. I hope that we stream it. Chelsea did really well today. I really want to say Chelsea will win 2-1, but I think Everton might hold them out. They're good away from home against big teams. I'm going to go for 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one draw. And let's go over to the Arsenal fan. Claude, what do you reckon for this one, Giza? Angelotti goes back to the bridge, his old club, and I have got a feeling this is two great tactical coaches could cancel each other out here. This could be, I think it's going to go 1 1. West Ham United in sixth against Leeds United in 11th. Two teams who lost last game week. Now, yeah. West Ham lost to City, Leeds lost to Aston Villa, and they're missing that man Calvin Phillips, aren't they, Theo? Yeah, it feels like a generation since West Ham last played. City, have, I felt like they've played 100 teams since they played I West know, Ham. I know. It's crazy. Le yeah, that was a poor result for Leeds to lose 1-0 to Villa without Jackie Grealish. Like, how does that work out? I don't know. Now, West Ham, we don't give them enough credit because they've been superb, but can they get a Champions League place there? A Champions League place? Big statement. You look at Chelsea coming back to four, Man United, City, Liverpool are bottling it. I don't know. Maybe uh, there's going to be a lot of teams in that contention. I think Europe, European football, like Europa League, is probably a better shout for West Ham. Yeah, no, I tend to agree with that. But let's not underestimate them. I think no, Leeds, no, like really, I said, yeah, top side. Leeds are absolutely missing Calvin Phillips. Yeah, I think this could be a good, exciting game. Yeah, but you know what? I'm going with home advantage. I'm going to go straight to it. Two one to West Ham. I think you're back in Leeds enough, dog dad. This is going yeah. to be Leeds don't draw much, but they're going to hold out West Ham, and that will feel like a win for them because West Ham have been unreal. I think this will be an absolute cracker. I hope we're streaming it. West Ham 2, Leeds 2. This is going to slap it in your bets. 2.5 plus goals easily. This is going to be a crack. I've got a feeling. But let's find out what Claude reckons. Which side is he back in? West Ham are flying this season and uh, I can't believe it. When I saw them in the first game against Newcastle, I thought they were going to be probably struggling towards the bottom half of the table. But it really surprised me. Good working team. They work really well. Uh, Lee uh, play good open football. And this, I think, could be a uh, play into West Ham's hands. I'm going to go I'm going to go 2 0 to West Ham on this one. And it's a double game week because Manchester City in first Again? place, Southampton in 14th. 
it's the team with the best form in the league against the team with the worst form. So how much will City win this game by Theo? It really depends how sharp they turn up. I reckon Southampton will sneak one, but I think City will score three. If you go off the City last few games, they've been, you know, they win, but yeah. they do concede like one sometimes. And yeah. I reckon that will happen again. I'm going to go 3-1 City, but City with another double game week? I know. I mean, what? Are we just going to give them the title now or what? Like... Bloody yeah. Hell. Now I tell you what, Southampton have been marginally better in the last couple of weeks, but City are going to win this all day long. Yeah. 3-0. 3-0 we're going for. Okay. But well, I, very close to us. Go on. Absolutely. But I want to know what Claude thinks. Yeah, on the final game. That concludes the games for, for the weekend. Good luck, lads, with all the uh, great work you're doing. Really enjoy your uh, videos, mate. And take care. Speak to you soon. Right, that is all the games. Only one double game week this week. 11 overall. Thank God there aren't that many games because it's nearly midnight and we're throwing it up tomorrow midday. Yeah. We're basically not sleeping. I'm we're just working. And pissed. We done, yeah, and we've done a double live stream. I did a double. You did a yeah, single. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but guys, if you haven't yet subscribed, every single one helps us because we're trying to get to half a million subscribers. Please click that subscribe button if you're new around here. Every single one helps this channel, doesn't it? Absolutely. And thank you to Claude. What a legend of the community. He is hilarious. What a guy, Arsenal man. fan TV. What a legend. Claude, you're welcome back on this channel any day of the week. His link in the description will be there. Go subscribe to him, support to him, comment saying Thog didn't send you and Thog Dad, of course. And 20,000 likes. Is it even possible? It's anything is possible with the TDL. I'll take that. Doing a runner. Bye. Yeah. Theo, that's the only way you're going to get that trophy. That's the only way. See ya.